Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on uh, concrete strength prediction using machine learning. In this tutorial, uh, we will be discussing various stages involved uh, in developing the ML model for predicting the strength of concrete. Uh, by the end of this project, you will learn in detail about uh, various stages involved in developing the ML model for the given input data, the importance of uh, total cost evaluation, gradient evaluation, learning rate selection, feature scaling, etc. And finally, the last and the most important thing, how to save the ML model parameters properly such that we can use them for future predictions without any errors. These are the key steps involved in the machine learning model for concrete strength prediction. The first step that we are going to do is to import the data and cleaning if required. Cleaning is optional. If you have a clean data, then repeating the cleaning process is not necessary. Next is train test splitting of the data. And the next third step is machine learning model development. In this, three important steps are there. The first one is feature scaling. Second one is regression model configuration, such as setting initial weights, bias, number of iterations, learning rates, etc. And a gradient descent loop. In this gradient descent loop, we evaluate the gradients, update weights and biases, and uh, the total cost evaluation. After that, we will test the trained uh, machine learning model. After testing, we will save the machine learning model parameters. And finally, we will do a prediction using the saved ML parameters. Let's dive into the project details. The data that we will be using in this project is obtained from UCI machine learning repository. Here you can download this data. This data has an overall uh, 1030 instances and uh, it has nine attributes and these nine attributes are uh, cement quantity, blast furnace slag, fly ash, water, super plasticizer, coarse aggregate quantity, fine aggregate quantity, age and uh, the final is concrete compressive strengths. Of these nine, the first eight variables are input features and the last one is the target variable means using these eight input features we have to predict the output variable that is the concrete compressive strength we downloaded this data and uh, saved in our uh, local computer so if you want you can download this data from here just click this data folder link you will be redirected into this uh, page so just download this excel file and uh, the text file that contains description about this data let's import the necessary libraries that we require in this machine learning model development such as numpy, pandas, matplotlib, scipy and uh, I have written some functions for uh, cost evaluation, gradient evaluation and uh, feature normalization in this uh, utilities.py file. Uh, let's import all the functions that are available in this utility.py. Let's read the downloaded data into our notebook using pandas read excel function. This function saves the imported data into a data frame called df. This data has nine columns and uh, 1030 rows with all the attributes as reported in the UCI machine learning repository website. Our downloaded data looks like this actually. It has nine total attributes of which the first eight attributes are input features and the final one is the target variable that is the concrete compressive strength in megapascals and the remaining uh, all the input features are in kg per meter cube. Let's convert this data frame df into two numpy arrays x and y. x represents the input features, y represents the target variable. The next step in the machine learning model development is to split the total data into two sets of uh, training and uh, testing data. Recommended percentages are 80 and 20 percent means 80 percent of the data will be used for training the machine learning model and 20 percent of the data we use for testing purpose. So after splitting we stored the uh, respective training and the testing data into a separate variables called x train, y train, x test and y test. Next if you look at our data some values are big numbers such as cement quantity, water, coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. These are all some big numbers and uh, the super plasticizer, age and uh, some values in the fly ash. These are all uh, very small values. So this kind of data patterns are not good because sometimes the model may give 
higher weights to the features with higher values and lower weights to the features with lower values we need to scale up or uh, scale down all the input features to a common scale this process is called um, feature scaling there are several techniques for this feature scaling in this project we will use one uh, widely used scaling technique called g score normalization this is uh, very popular in statistics equation for uh, g score normalization looks like this first we evaluate the mean and the standard deviation of each column or feature then we subtract each element in the selected column by the mean of the entire column and divide the resulting value with the standard deviation of the entire column we apply this formula over all the elements as shown here in the code mean and uh, standard deviation are areas corresponding to each feature such as cement quantity super plasticizer coarse aggregate fine aggregate etc this function returns the normalized uh, values of the input feature x along with that the mean and uh, standard deviation of each feature see after normalization if we print the values of mean standard deviation and the normalized input features so you can see like uh, mean is an array means uh, it has the mean values of each feature and standard deviation is also an array and the final normalized input features are the normalized values of the actual x train values after normalizing the data we will then initialize the weights and uh, biases total number of iterations to be performed and the learning rate for now i am initializing the weights and uh, biases to some random value of uh, 0.1 so these are all starting values this can be anything there is no uh, significant meaning for this initial values so as a starting point for the starting initial values i am just evaluating the total cost in this evil cost function cost represents the total error so this cost is evaluated using the formula this is a simple root mean squared error formula here f w comma b x i represents the predicted value of uh, concrete compressive strength and y i represents the actual value of the concrete compressive strength uh, we square this uh, resulting value to uh, neutralize the sign convention after that for each data point we evaluate this value and uh, we take a sum of those values and then we divide with two times the total number of uh, instances the total number of uh, data points that we have considered for the training this gives us the total cost means the total error as i said before our objective is to minimize this total error jw comma b let's take a look at the prediction of uh, concrete compressive strength with this initial uh, chosen weights and biases so we have got the initial cost of 817 and uh, these are the weights that we have considered and this is the bias that we have considered so let's take a look at the prediction of concrete compressive strength with this weights and biases if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video we greatly appreciate your feedback and we will do our best to respond to each and every comment if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel happy learning thank you